Okay, so this is the 2-2 domain and range of functions and determining if a relation is a function. So we're going to start with the domain and range. I remember that we talked about the domain. Um, we want to scan our pencil from left to right like you read a book. So you read from left to right, and we're going to look for the domain from left to right um, and that to see where you are touching the graph. So basically when you're looking at it, we start at the left side and we say, okay, I'm touch finding the graph here. I see an arrow. I can keep touching, keep touching, keep touching, keep touching, keep touching. I see another arrow. And that tells us our domain, our starting and our ending point. If we start with arrows or end with arrows, it's going to infinity. So we would either we would use a, um, a left arrow is going to be the less than sign. A right arrow is going to be the greater than sign. And we will look at that a little bit uh, here in a, a little bit. So range is going to be found by doing from the left bottom to the top. So you're going to start looking at the bottom, at the floor and look to the ceiling. So you're going to go from the bottom to the top, starting again at the bottom to start where your lowest point is. It's right here. And then keep on following up until you see the last spot that there's a point in which case there, in this case, there's a uh, arrow. And we'll start with that. Okay, so we're going to look at these different graphs. Um, something I wanted to remind you that a way to remember di uh, domain is Dixie. So domain, input, x values, and it's the independent. And then roid, you know what, I'm going to write it a little bit different than that. Because Roy should be looking, oh, never mind, I'm just going to alone. Dixie Royd, which is range, output, Y values, and the dependent. Okay, so let's look at a couple of examples. We have a absolute value function. And we're looking for the domain. So we're going to start our pencil, put your pencil on the paper, and just follow it along or put your pencil on the screen, one or the other. What's the first thing you see when you move left to right? Well, I see a arrow. Then I keep moving left to right. I keep going, keep going. As long as I can keep touching something, I keep going. And then I see another arrow. When that happens, so arrow to arrow means all real numbers. In other words, any possible x is good, okay? All x's. Now we do range. We're going to start at the bottom. The first place I can touch it is right here. So where is that? Well, that's 1, 2. That's at negative 2. Now where does it go? Well, it's going up from there, right? So I'm going to put an arrow to remind myself I'm going up going from negative 2 up, 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 and then the last thing I see is an arrow. So here we started at negative 2, we, we went up, and we never stopped. So that's y is going to be bigger than and equal to, because it existed, negative 2. It was growing bigger than negative 2. Okay? All right, so we're going to do the next one. We come across. Where's the first place we touch it? We touch it at? 1, 2, 3, negative 3. We keep going across. We can see it's going both below and above, but all we need to know is where's the last place we can see it. Last place we can see it is right here. So here we're going between negative 3 and positive 3. X's every, all the X's have something going on between there. Okay? Now for range, we again start at the bottom come up, first place we can touch it is at negative 3 again. We're still going up. We can still touch a graph all the way up till we get to here, and that's where it stops. So we're between zero, negative 3 is y is less than positive 3. Okay? So sometimes it's between two numbers, sometimes it's all the numbers, and sometimes it starts at a number and goes either up or goes down. If it goes up, 
that is greater than or equal to or greater than. If it goes down, like this one over here will, it's actually starting there and it's going down. That's the less than or less than or equal to. So that's what we were going to be looking at. All right, so the next one. Starting with our domain, sticking to the same color. First thing I see is an arrow. I'm going to make a jot down there. I keep going. Last thing I see is an arrow. Arrow to arrow is all reals. Now we're going to do the Y's. Starting at the bottom, coming up. First thing I actually see is right over here, right? It's not this one. It's here. I'm seeing, uh, you have to take your whole pencil and use the whole pencil for your looking. Anywhere your pencil touches, the first time it touches it, that's what you're going to use. So I see an arrow. And remember, we're going up or down, so I'm going to put my arrow down. I keep running up, going up. I see another arrow. So it's going to keep growing from arrow to arrow. And remember, arrow to arrow is always all real numbers. Okay? Next one, domain, using my whole pencil, where's the first time the pencil touches the graph? Well, it touches at an arrow. I keep going across. Last time it touches it is another arrow. So all reals. Here, first time we touch it is at, a neg at the arrows, but it keeps going above it. So it's actually growing. It's going up, but it's going to stop here. So really, we're stopping at a point, and that is at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So it's getting bigger to 5, but it's not going bigger than 5. It's, lo it's losing gra ground after 5. So y is less than, smaller than, but equal to positive 5. Okay? So if it's pointing down, upside down, then we use the less than if it's pointing up towards the ceiling, then it is greater than. Okay. I'm going to ask you guys to tell me these last two, the domain and range for this one and the domain and range for number six. Okay. So on number five, you should have gotten all real numbers. No, I'm sorry, not all real numbers. You should have gotten negative 1 is less than or equal to x is less than or equal to 5. And you should have gotten negative 3 is less than or equal to y is less than or equal to 3. So from here to here and from here to here. Okay? So on your the second one, you should have gotten all reals. And on the range, you should also have all real numbers. Now, quick little note, all real numbers can be shorthanded by doing this. You type in, write a big R and add a little bar. So if you write it like this, I will count that correct if it was written down. Um, or if you see that on a computer program, that is the same thing as all real numbers. All right, so now we're going to look at the difference between functions and um, relations. And I'm going to use my other page. So a function is a relationship between values. Each input x has exactly and only one y. That is the key. Y, x has only one wife. You can have many x's, but you can't have a, but one wife at a time. Okay? So a function, you would look at your x's and see if there's any repeats. Here, there's two, there's a negative 1 being repeated on the x's. Negative 1 being repeated, which makes it not a function. Okay? As long as there's not a function, you're good. So let's quickly look at these questions. So is this a function or not? Well, let's look at our x's. Are there any x's that are repeated? No x is repeated, means is a function. So 
So they're asking, is this a function? That means that's a yes. So let's look at the next one. Negative 2, 0, 2, 3, 2. I said 2 twice, so that's a no. Okay, I'm going to ask you to do number 3 and number 4. So on number 3, looking at it, we have two negative 3s, which makes that a no. On number 4, we have no repeated numbers, which makes that a yes. Okay? Now we can do the same thing if they're in table form. So looking at number 1, I see a 3 and a 3 listed. That's a no. Uh, number, uh, Sorry, that was number 5. Number 6, I don't see anything repeated, so that's a yes. So I'm going to ask you to do 7, 8, 9, and 10. Okay, so 7 should be a yes, 8 should be a no, and that's because the that one and then that one, two fours, that's like a bad, bad boy. Yes and a yes. Okay, we can also do the same thing using mapping. Here it's a little easier because we're looking at the arrow, so we just look, does that have pointing at more than one thing. That's a yes, because it's not pointing at more than, the same X is not pointing at more than one thing. But this one, you have one pointing in two different places, or negative one, and that's a no. So what about number 13? If you said yes, you are right. Okay, the final, last thing we need to look at is called the vertical line test. The vertical line test is a way for us to look at graphs and test to see if it is a relationship or a function. So throughout school, you should be thinking, is this a vertical line test? What's the vertical line test? Vertical line test is where you basically just draw a line and see if it touches in more than one place, okay? So let's do some examples with the one that doesn't have them already answered. All right, so we're going to draw a line. We're going to see if there's any points, since we have points on here, that touches in more than one place. Well, this one touched here and here, so that is a no. Okay, we we'll do the same thing with this one. Nope, it passed that one, so that's a yes. Okay, we'll do two more examples, and then I want you to do the last four. So we're going to do, we'll just keep drawing lines. I don't see any spot that's going to be a problem, so that's a yes. Here, first time I did it, I ended up with two spots, so that's a no. Okay? You always want to try at least two or three places on it, because if you had only picked it right here, you probably would have tried, said yes, but you do want to try more than one spot, just in case there's a tricky, tricky spot. All right, number 18, 19, 20, and 21. Are these yeses or noes? Are they functions because they pass the vertical line test, or are they relations because they do not pass the vertical line test? Okay, so number 18 is very obviously a no. Number 20, testing in multiple places, again, is a yes. I mean, 19 was a yes. Number 20 is a no, and that's because the whole line already is a vertical line test. It is already a vertical line. And last but not least, 21 is a yes.